Hey you guys, and it's Nessa again. I'm back with another tutorial for material functions. This one's going to be quite simple and short, um, so let's get into it. Alright, so I do have the material functions overview from the Unreal 5 documentation on their website. Um, I did pull this up just if anybody wants to review it themselves as well. Um, you can, and I'll leave the link down below. Um, so, a material function lets you package parts of a material into a reusable asset, so you don't have to keep creating that over and over again. It saves you time, um, save everybody else, saves everybody else's time, so, um, the purpose is to streamline material creation by giving instant access to commonly used networks of material nodes. Alright, so they do give an example here, like I did as well. Um, this is a material expression, this is pretty huge. <laughs> um, this is the blend overlay material function that Unreal has made for you. Um, and I just did want to show you guys just an overview of the documentation because I love reading their documentation, especially if I don't get something. Um, I just go to the website. Um, sometimes their forms are great. Um, yeah, um, if I can't find it on YouTube, I am definitely going to be on their website and using their forums. So don't be afraid to go there. So I have a material here. Of the material expression, which is a node, um, or a node, I'm sorry, it was called the material expression in Unreal, or you can call them nodes. And then you have the material expression network, which is the full graph. Um, of everything, base, color, metallic, whatever you put in for the inputs, <coughs> for the outputs, I'm sorry. And then um, you have a material graph, is, which is just a separate section, it's not the full network. Um, so that is what a material function is, it is a part of the graph made into a function so you can easily create assets. Um, <coughs> So to find them, you can go to your favorites palette over here. I'm sorry, you can go over to the palette over here, which it has your favorites in there as well. <clears throat> in the drop down, you can put all, or you can change it to just expressions, or you can change it to just functions. So when you make your function, it will also show here, and I'll show you how to make that happen, because it's not just, it doesn't automatically do that. Um, so yeah, you have all the functions that Unreal 5 has to offer to you. And there is a crap ton. <laughs> so you can just like play around with them. And they're in order of what they do. Like again, um, <clears throat> this is on the side of your, um, side of your um, window, um, the palette. And I'm going to unpin it. This is the flash and lights emissions. Um, flash and lights function that I made. And I made it for the tutorial. Um, I'm working on something for personal use, for music. I, we, um, this is my music channel, so I do post music on here as well. Um, if I'm not posting anything about Unreal, <laughs> um, just a little heads up. Double click the function, it goes into the actual graph. So yeah. Here's a material function, and you know you're in a function when it says material function in the corner. So I made it all pretty. Um, so I have the base color here, the roughness, metallic, emission color, and then time. Um, so yeah, so let's get here. I'm just going to be recreating this, to be honest. Um, so I have a folder here called flashing lights just to keep it neat as well. You can right click. <clears throat> and then you are going to create a material function by going here to materials and go into material function. Uh, let's rename this demo. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go in here. And you want to have both of your windows open, the material and the um, material function, because you're going to be copying going to be copying the material graph into the material function. Alright, so here it is. <clears throat> so we have our graph. 
Alright, so we're going to need a few expressions. So we're going to need a function input, and we're going to need a function output. Alright, so it's pretty self-explanatory. Function input, it gives you your input. Oh, I closed that game you want, so let me open that back up. So function true. So your material function will give you your input. I'm sorry, <laughs> your function input will give you your input here. So you have your input for your roughness, your input for your strength, your input for your color, and you can change it to what input type you would like it to be. Um, scholar, scalar, um, vector 2, 3, 4, texture, texture cube, 2D array, volume texture, static pole, material attributes, or texture internal. So you have a freak ton of options. I'm just going to be using vector 3, and um, you can rename it as well. I'm not going to rename it yet. I'm just letting you guys know what these do. Um, so before we get started to create our function, we're going to do a few things first. So we're going to click out onto the graph so we can get our details. So the first thing you want to do is hit expose to library. This is going to let you go to your palette or right click and you'll be able to search for your material function. The next thing you want to do is add a parameter. Um, I'm sorry, library category. So this, I would say this would be in, they have lights. Yeah, let's put it on lighting for the heck of it. Um, so let's say lighting. All right. So you don't want to insert another one because it might, you know, cause confusion. Um, I would stick to just one. So you can add as many as you like. As many. <laughs> so let's get rid of those. And then you want to save. So let's see if that worked. So we're going to go to our palette. We put it under lighting. Actually, let's go to expression um, functions. And we put it under lighting. darn. There's so many. I don't know how to... <laughs> there we go. I walk. I like scrolled right past it. So there we go. So we have lighting and it's under demo. I'm sorry, we have the demo and it's under lighting. So like I said, you can put the, as many categories you like, but that would be a little bit nonsensical. But you know what? If that works for you, I will judge. <laughs> um, so yeah, we have demo. So we have it in our category. And if you right click here, click and search, it's going to be under your lighting and demo. Um, so yeah, so we got that figured out. And then once again, if you want to change the preview blend or any of this, it's up to you. We're not touching that. Um, you can also put a description. I could put um, flashing lights because that's exactly what it's going to be doing. <laughs> oh my god, you can smell. All right, flashing lights, and hit apply. All right, so now that we have the basic sound, let's start building our function. So once again, we're gonna be creating this function again. All right, so let's start with the base color. So we're gonna get a vector three. And the shortcut is the letter three and left click. Then we're going to need our input, then we're going to need our output. And if you want to uh, select all and hit C, you could just name it, so base color. Now I want to connect our notes. And then we're going to rename this base color. So for your input, once again, you're going to go in here, input name, base color. Oh my god, I cannot spell, I'm so sorry guys. And I was going to keep it in this as a vector 3. And description. You can put a description if you like. I am not going to. Alright, so we have that. 
leave that for last. So next we have our roughness and we have our metallic. This is fairly simple again. We're just going to be use a constant and we're going to use uh, input and an output. So I'm going to duplicate this. Control V. Where did it duplicate it to? Hmm. Control D. There we go. <laughs> and output. Oh, I'm so sorry. We didn't name the output. So the output for the base color, I'm going to rename it base color because we're going to put that to our base color. Alright, so next is our metallic and our roughness. You don't have to do this. I just did it because it looks pretty and just, you know, keep everything neat. But once again, optional. Everything's optional, you know. Um, so I'm going to do a vector, I'm sorry, a constant. And it's going to be number one, letter number one, add left click. And we got our constant. Alright, and then we have our input. going to put that as scalar and then I'm going to put an output and we're going to duplicate that as well. This is going to be metallic. This is going to be metallic. And this is going to be what is this? roughness. I'm sorry, metallic, yeah. So I like to put the little thingies up here because I sometimes forget what zero is and what one is. It's smooth or rough. So zero is smooth, one is rough. So I'm just going to copy that because I'm going to forget. I don't know why. It's the simplest things I forget. So we're turning this into parameter. This is going to be roughness. I'm sorry, metallic. Oh, I just deleted it. This is going to be metallic. And then I'm going to put the default value to 1. Oh, I'm so sorry. I put that into... Um, did I put that into parameter? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. I'm not putting the default value. But the max slider is going to be 1. Okay. So we're just going to connect that. Connect. And metallic, metallic, metallic. We're going to duplicate this, because it's going to be the exact same thing for roughness. Smooth, one rough. I'm sorry, guys. All right. <laughs> Brain farting right now. All right, so this is roughness. I'm just going to copy and paste that. Jesus. All right. And then next we have is just the parameters for our emission. All right, so let me just make these pretty too. Just all right, make these small so I don't have you guys can see everything on one screen. And I'm sorry if you can hear the cat fountain. <laughs> Um, I don't know if you guys could hear that. If not, ignore me. But um, if you hear water trickling, it's our cat fountain. They like running with water. Um, they're obsessed, so it's a must for them. <laughs> I'm surprised they're not bothering me right now, but um, it's late, so... Parameter going to stay that and I'm just going to refresh it so just blink we don't need that to be any color because we're going to set that when we turn it into a function put that down here so we're going to need another input function and another no we're just going to be using inputs for these so I'm just going to duplicate them um oops I did it twice so we're going to name this for emission color, and we're going to put that back to vector 3, we're going to duplicate it again, and this is going to be for emission strength. Am I 
I spell strength right? <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to connect these guys. Once again, I picked this because it's fairly simple. Um, just going to keep it simple. Alright, make sure I'm doing all this again correctly. So I have a multiply node that's adding them together. Um, multiplying them together. And then I have an add. I'm going to add this again um, on top. And if anybody sees them like it could have been done differently, please let me know. Because I'm also still learning. I've been doing this for a few months now. Probably like four or five months. So, um, I'm not, if you guys have any suggestions or any feedback, I would also appreciate that too, because, you know, if I'm doing something the long way, please tell me, you know, um, it doesn't hurt to get feedback. That is something I do not mind. Constructive criticism. Um, so, what am I doing? I'm sorry. I'm like <laughs> bothering them. Okay, let me go back here. So let's again, I have the multiply, the add, and then another multiply. All right, so, so we have the multiply here. Oops, let me just disconnect all the nodes. So there we go. Then we're going to need an add, so you just hit A, left click. And then we're going to add... And the reason why I did this is because if I didn't do that, it was gonna it was causing issues of me getting different colors. So that's why I added this add node to add it on top of it after I multiplied it. Um, so I'm gonna do the emission strength again to the uh, emission strength to the add, and then I'm gonna add it to the multiply. And for the time, we're leaving that alone. It's good. I put it at negative 1.0, it goes from negative 1.0 to 1, and I, I want it at something slow, not too fast. Um, name this time, sign, I'm using a sign, um, pretty self-explanatory, this one's the easiest node, no inputs, no outputs, <laughs> um, it's just going to be chilling by itself. All right, so we have everything here. I'm going to put that as my mission. All right. So we are almost done. Now we just have to add everything together. So I'm going to add a multiply for our metallic and roughness. M, left click. We're going to do an add for the base color. A, left click. And then we're going to add that little lady here. And then we're going to add, I, is it another multiply? Nope, it's add. And then we're going to do another add. A, left click. And we're going to multiply that up here. So all our nodes are connected. <laughs> so we have everything connected. And we're going to be putting it into this person right here called the output result. So this is important because if we don't put that there, the function will not work. Um, and there we go. Um, the output result, we're going to name that... Mm, what did I name my output result? Emissive. So this is going to be emissive. Oh, that's how you spell emissive. Emissive. And we have a completed material function. Um, we have our outputs, we have our inputs. Outputs, inputs, we have our multiplies, our adds, our sign, our parameter. Um, did I duplicate? You know what? I think I did do that. Let me duplicate that. I had it as two. Um, I'm sorry, I forgot about that part. All right, there we go. This one's for the emissive, and this one is for the color. So just forgot about that. So just add that one um, for the emission. And we are done. And now to check if it works. I'm going to go into... Um, no, because I didn't do anything. 
we're going to go into our true function. We're going to delete this. And we're just going to find our demo. Sweet. So we have our metallic, and it tells you what you need. Um, a scalar, so I'm going to put that's metallic. And then hit apply. And we have our material function doing its thing. Uh, if you want to put the mission up higher, you can. Um, I don't know if you want it as bright as the sun. <laughs> but um, yeah, and that's how you make a material function. And if you edit it, let's say you wanted to remove the options for metallic and roughness because it's not needed. Or you wanted to remove the base color. Not needed. But it, it looks okay. Um, still working on it. So once again, it was just a demo and just trying to figure out some things. Um, but if you wanted to remove the base color, you want to remove the metallic, you don't have to edit this again. So what I mean is, if I remove, let's remove the roughness. Let's delete that baby. All right. Let's actually disconnect her first and then delete it. Let's go in closer. All right, so we're deleting the roughness. So we're gonna hit yes. It's letting us know that output is no longer going to hit apply. We're going to go back to our function. And as you see, let's see if it updated immediately. It did. It just pushed it off. So we no longer have the option to put roughness. It automatically updates. You don't have to go in and do it yourself. Um, and if you have a bunch of them, it's going to do that as well. So whatever you update to the function, it's going to update to everything that uses that function. So just a warning, um, and that's the reason why I like it, because if I'm updating something on one thing, that means I'm going to update it on everything. Um, and yeah, so you just drag it out like normal. Just a demo. Oh, I didn't make a... What did I use it as? True function. Yeah, just drag it out. Um, plop it on. It does its thing. Uh, but that's it for material functions. And once again, it's going to be in your favorites. Um, not your favorites. It's going to be in your palette. Or if you right-click and search, it's going to be in there. Um, so yeah, if you have any um, suggestions down below um, or any questions... Don't be afraid to hit me up. Um, I do respond. <laughs> um, well, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Um, I will be posting again in about a week or two. Um, it's just been a bit busy, so I'm trying to post on a frequent schedule. But, um, yeah, things are kind of rough right now. Just sick. Recovering from COVID. I'm still sick. My lungs are not okay. So, um, yeah, I'm just trying to do it every two weeks. I want to do it every week, but right now it's two weeks. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys have a rest of your week. Have a good rest of your week.